Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya Dikshit. I'm a dermatologist in private practice from the last 17 years. Hair loss is a very common problem in women and there are multiple causes of hair loss. Whenever we discuss hair loss with a woman, we want to know whether the hair loss is more acute, meaning is it very short-lived, is it only from the last two to four weeks or is it a more chronic ongoing thing going on for many years, two years, three years, four years and depending on this, we classify hair loss into acute telogen effluvium, chronic telogen effluvium and female pattern hair loss. So when we talk about acute telogen effluvium, this is a sudden shedding of hair which is very common in women after say a pregnancy or a delivery, after an illness like a typhoid or dengue or even very recently COVID, after a surgery, after taking an eye pill or some other medicines like painkillers or antibiotics, you get a period of hair loss which is very aggressive and then it resolves by itself and this is commonly called as acute telogen effluvium, acute shedding of hair. Like I told you, it is self-resolving, meaning it heals itself once the acute event has passed. If you keep eating high nutrition diet and take your vitamin supplements, it gets resolved by itself. In comparison to this, a chronic telogen effluvium, which is multiple episodes of shedding of hair or a continuous shedding of hair, which usually also presents with thinning of the hair in the sides near the temples is more common when there is a chronic nutrition issue or multiple episodes of telogen effluvium. Like for example, a person having COVID followed by, you know, they fall, form a diet or a diet plan which has uh, inadequate nutrition and then they have some other illness. So those things which are a chronic insults cause this telogen effluvium. And in this condition, the condition does not resolve without some multiple supplements and some peptide serums. Now, the problem with telogen effluvium is that when it is untreated, it can progress to a female pattern hair loss or it can progress to a chronic thinning of the hair and a loss of volume of the hair itself and the pony volume may decrease which is why it is very important to identify the causes of chronic telogen effluvium which may be some inadequate diet, which may be some medicines that the person is taking which may cause the hair fall unknowingly, especially anti-diabetic and anti-hypertensive medicines could cause it, which may be an underlying PCOD problem or a thyroid disease or a multivitamin deficiency which is very common in our vegetarian patients. So evaluation is the first step of finding the root cause of hair loss. In patients who are above 45 years of age, then the third type of hair loss, which is the female pattern of hair loss becomes more common. In this hair loss, you get a widening of the partition area, which is different. They don't have a very regular shedding of the hair, but they notice that the hair itself has started to become thinner in the midline near the partition area. However, the female pattern hair loss is becoming more common nowadays as the incidence of polycystic ovarian disease is continuously increasing and this hormonal condition is also associated with a female pattern hair loss. So if you are a woman who is noticing shedding of hair which is more than usual and is continuing for a period of more than a month, it is time for you to seek help from a dermatologist. If you have noticed volume loss in the pony or if you have noticed increased uh, partition area or the scalp becomes visible, then it is time to speak to a dermatologist to get evaluated and understand what is the root cause of your hair before you start treatment.